Hey there, I'm Richard Eisenbeis for GameZone.com and welcome to Big in Japan. Over the past few years, as downloadable games have become more and more mainstream, major companies and independent developers alike have embraced this new way of making and distributing games. However, in Japan, the production rate of DLC has been much lower. Why? <laughs> because Japanese people are afraid of the internet, of course! <laughs> No, seriously. According to a 2007 survey, 77% of Japanese people think the internet is, and I quote, scary. And of those who own an internet-capable gaming console, only 45% even have it connected to the internet. So it's always surprising when a downloadable game comes out exclusively in Japan. Even more so when it comes from a relatively unknown company like Albion. So let's take a look at the sleeper hit of the Japanese PlayStation Network. Malicious. Malicious is the story of a magic cloak clad spirit sent to fight and defeat a group of monsters known as Malicious. And that's about it. What little story there is comes from exposition or the introduction movies for each Malicious. So, rather than plot, Malicious is built around the idea that the best part of a video game is the boss fights. Thus, the sprawling dungeons of other games have been cut in favor of nothing but six epic fights against the Malicious. And a few hundred of their best minions. The game begins in the hub room, where you are able to select which malicious you will fight in any order you choose. And just like the Mega Man games of old, each boss grants you a new weapon or attack upon its defeat, which can be used to great effect in subsequent boss battles. So while battling the malicious in any order is indeed possible, some play orders are much easier than others. In battle, the game controls like most 3D action games, with running, jumping, and combos made of strong and weak attacks. By killing the minions of each malicious, you gain aura points. These points can be used to power up attacks, heal damage, or enter a limit break mode, allowing you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the malicious for a short time. Perhaps the most talked about feature is the close-based damage system. There's no life bar in malicious. Rather, as a spirit, when you take damage, your limbs dissipate one by one till you're just a floating torso. And when you heal, your limbs regenerate, but the clothes on your arms and legs do not, keeping a lasting record of your battle damage. It's an interesting system. However, since the camera is generally far back from your character to best show the action, it can be hard to see if an arm or leg is missing, even on a large HD TV. Malicious's graphics are far beyond what one normally expects of a DLC game. Resembling a mixture of 2008's Prince of Persia and the upcoming El Shaddai, Malicious is a visual treat, especially in the animations of the Magic Cloak. Malicious is not a game without its own share of problems, though. There's at least one game-breaking glitch, namely a boss sitting on top of you and refusing to move till time runs out, and despite their best efforts, the camera ends up in floors, walls, and other people far too often. Even normal movement can cause problems as a small piece of rubble or a small change in ground level is enough to bring your character to a sudden and often fatal halt. And in certain battles, the erratic graphic slowdown throws off the timing for combos and dodges, making a hard game even harder. And let me be clear, for better or worse, Malicious is a hard game. The only way to defeat each stage is by learning the boss patterns through trial and error. Expect no hand-holding. Moreover, the game gives you the equivalent of three lives for your entire playthrough. Though, you can always load your game back at the hub. And each level even has a time limit that will sneak up on you if you're not careful. Overall, though, the good far outweighs the bad. Is Malicious worth the full $40 of a retail game? No, of course not. But would it be worth the $15 of mini DLC games? Absolutely. And that's what makes it all the more impressive that it only costs around 8 bucks. So, despite the occasional glitch and unforgiving difficulty, Malicious is well worth your time and your money. And while there are no concrete plans for a Western release, like all PS3 games, it's region free. So go on eBay, get yourself a Japanese PSN card, and download Malicious today. Anyway, I'm Richard Eisenbeis for GameZone.com, and I'll see you next time when I count down the top five Japanese games of 2010. Peace!
the deceptive nature internet, the Japanese were right to fear you! <laughs>